lack of startup capital can stifle the hopes and dreams of young entrepreneurs. But bright minds behind a pair of innovative Saskatchewan biotech ventures received a financial boost today to help them move forward. Bob Simpson has the details. You are certainly among the absolute brightest young minds in the province. It's called a BioVenture Business Plan Challenge. U of S students and graduates under the age of 35 submitted business ideas in the competition based on the bioeconomy. From the five finalists, the judges named two ventures as co-winners. They equally share the $50,000 grand prize. Patrick Ma for New Wave Technologies and Karthi Kayan, Naranan and Zafar Bashi for Eco Oil. The winning entrepreneurs received the startup capital along with business mentoring to help launch their ventures. Give us some money to actually put serious studies into our plan, it put serious studies into what is the next step and how we are going to pursue it. Everybody up here is not uh, doing a traditional product, you know, we're not selling a widget, it's more of an idea. So you're investing in that idea before you're selling it. The Eco Oil Venture zeroes in on fine-tuning new biodiesel processing technology. Waste vegetable oil from restaurants and oil crushed from low-quality canola seed would be used as feedstock. We can satisfactorily uh, purify the waste vegetable oil into cleaner biodiesel uh, to the standards of uh, the biodiesel produced from virgin canola oil. The new wave venture focuses on developing new ways to clean sites with contaminated soil. The technology stimulates microorganisms to speed up the breakdown of contaminants. We're basically just uh, accelerating a natural process that's occurring anyway, but instead of taking thousands of years, we could reduce it to several years. This is the second year for the BioVenture competition. Its creators, the University of Saskatchewan and Saskatchewan Agriculture, are confident it will help further develop the province's thriving bioeconomy. Bob Simpson, CTV News, Saskatoon.